Alright guys, so this is going to be my full review of the Jelly Bam on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This ROM is based on Android 4.1.2 with a custom kernel. There is no overclocking as of yet, but you can change the kernel settings. And if we scroll back up to the top, we do have our ROM control with AOKP. We have our custom paranoid settings, our Synergy Mod settings, and then we have our Jelly Bam wallpapers. So this ROM is a mixture of AOKP. It includes all the features of ROM control, as you see in these circles lock screen right there. In order to enable that, go to security, chain screen lock to circles, and that's how you enable that. And it also allows you to change the colors and stuff under AOKP settings, under lock screen. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can change the colors and stuff like that. You can also turn on your weather and also your calendar and text color and stuff like that. So it's nice to have AOKP. So if we go back up to general UI, you can change your custom carrier label. As you see, I have my custom carrier label with the, I have the Cyanogen Mod toggles because I don't really like the AOKP toggles that much. You do have your expandable notifications and you can still swipe those away. I have the AOKP weather widget because it's, it's always nice to have. And if we go back, you can change your notification background, you can show your notification count, your Wi-Fi name. If you have the kill all button, you have that on CM so it gets in the way. So when you press home, you see you have the CM one in the top right corner. So if you turn on the AOKP one, it gets in the way, so I don't really recommend using those. You have your tablet UI, you have your dual panel. And I'm not really going to go too much into AOKP, but you can turn on the navigation bar and have up to five custom bars at the bottom, nav buttons. You can have your battery. See, I have the stock battery with the Steam. I'm running Lunar UI 2. Put a link in the description for that. I have my center clock, of course. You can choose your AOKP toggles. You have the normal AOKP toggles, the one that you should be used to. You have your weather and performance. Performance, you can't really change anything but the kernel. I mean, you can, ch I mean, the kernel governor, <laughs> my bad. And then paranoid Android settings, you can change the app DPI, so you can put your phone into tablet mode, or you can put a certain app into tablet UI, whichever you choose. I don't really mess with paranoid Android too much, because I don't really like it that much, but then you, of course, have your custom signage and lock buttons, where you have your notification drawer, which is the toggles. So you see, I have those custom toggles enabled. The AOKP ones, like if you see a little lag right there, if you turn the AOKP ones in landscape, they just bunch up in the center and it kind of looks weird. But the CM ones just look better in my opinion. So if you go back, you still have your custom power menu. You can add any shortcuts that you want to. You have your status bar brightness control where you can slide your finger across the status bar. You have the CM navigation bar, which you can't really do as much with this one as you can the AOKP one. So it's nice that they include both. And then of course you have your hardware keys where you can enable the custom actions. Now lock screen options, if you're using the circles lock screen, you can't have your custom shortcuts with CM. And then of course your theme chooser works. So you have Lunar UI 2. And then you have your custom jelly band wallpapers. You still have your sound. One bug I noticed is that you can't have the expanded volume panel. See, I have it selected, but it doesn't work. Not really sure why. You still have your display. You can rotate this 360 degrees. You still have your advanced options with the, you know, you can mess with the colors of your screen and stuff like that. You have your CM profiles, and you still have your developer options and stuff like that. So, this is basically kind of like jelly beer actually a little bit but it's mixed with AOKP and CM a little bit more and if we go into our app drawer see you do have the Cyanogen Mod File Explorer see the CM File Explorer you have Apollo Music and the camera the camera isn't that great on this one see if we go to it I'm not sure why but the TouchWiz camera is just much improved see it takes a little bit to focus and once it focuses, it doesn't, you can't like manually focus in like the camera, which is kind of a bummer, but the camera still works. 
see it works just fine and you have all the AOSP settings you have the AOSP keyboard you don't have to worry about any type of touch with stuff anything like that but not really sure what else you cover in this you have awesome beats so if you listen to your headphones a lot you're gonna love that feature and if you want to see any more features about this ROM leave a comment below but it's just pretty much an AOKP built ROM which I've reviewed tons of those in the past so if you want to check anything out about AOKP or Signage Mod, just check out my channel. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And Happy New Year's, everybody.